there guys, my name is Chris Chadongster Ball, but built for Theme Park News, and welcome to a Theme Park News update on Six Flags St. Louis. Now this is on the closure of Tidal Wave, their Hopkins Shoot the Shoot ride uh, that opened back in 1991. Uh, so before you uh, go and watch this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Share this channel around with your friends and family, click the share button please. This channel's nearly at 1,000, we're getting closer and closer every day to 1,500 subscribers. Uh, and this channel, I really want this channel to be a success because, you know, there's lots of channel, theme park channels out there, vlogs, uh, do news updates, but this one's, you know, we do the other stuff on the side, but this is fully dedicated to theme park news. Um, you know, this is primarily a theme park news channel, so I really want this channel to be a major success, so please do all that and let's get into this video then. So this is a news update from Six Flags St. Louis, and this is on the closure of their 1991 Hopkins Shoot the Shoot Ride Tidal Wave after nearly 28 years of operation. Now, Tidal Wave opened in May 1991, Hopkins Shoot the Shoot Ride. Um, there's been rumours for years of this ride closing, and finally it's done that, and demolishment is already underway. Um, the park have re released a statement on their social media pages, uh, and on Facebook I did see a picture of them starting to demolish Tidal Wave, so uh, rest in peace to the Tidal Wave. But that's not the main narrative of this video. The main narrative is what's next. Um, now I'm going to put a picture on, from Google Maps of this site on your screen now. Fanda Bidorsi. Now I really want you guys to take a close look um, at this. I really want you to because uh, I really think that this could be a this could be a big development in 2021. This could be a massive development. Uh, and that is because I think Six Flags St. Louis could be on in their next major roller coaster in 2021. I feel like we could be getting it. Uh, now, of course, looking at that site, you think SNS 40 free spin, right? I think there's more than that. I think with the with RMC's booth at IAPA, there was like an advertisement for like a Raptor single roller coaster for sale for uh, till at least 2021. Uh, or for at least 2021. I'm not sure if it was set to open in 2021 or it has to be bought by at least 2021. Uh, but I've got a feeling Six Flags St. Louis may have bought that behind closed doors, and I think an RMC Raptor would be fantastic. Yes, it may be. It looks the, the Raptor they're trying to sell uh, till at least 2021. It seems like uh, that will be like a clone of your usual, like your Railblazer, your Wonder Woman Golden Lasso coaster at Six Flags Fiesta Texas. Uh, but I think still it's a coaster. Uh, we, we 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 can't be you know displeased about that. Uh, now, one other thing I thought about was a Max Force launch coaster, and that is because uh, if you look around the boundary of the site, you've got Screaming Eagle, which is the Philadelphia Toboggan Coaster wooden coaster uh, that opened back in the 70s. I think you can do a nice Max Force style launch coaster layout here, weaving in and out of the structure of, Scre of the uh, Screaming Eagle coaster. Uh, and I feel like there's a real um, possibility here to do some great creative stuff with this so I think either possibility either coaster would be a great fit now in terms of theme it's in the Illinois area so I think that an Illinois theme would be brilliant uh, obviously you've already got some other attractions in the area you've got fireball which is their uh, Larson loop um, that opened back in 2016 the 2016 season um, so I'd like to see an Illinois theme come into it, but I think integrate it with a usual Six Flags name. Um, so you look at uh, what Six Flags Great America did with Max Force, maybe, um, I mean, I'm thinking off the top of my head here, maybe Magic Mountain, what they did with the New Revolution. I mean, Six Flags does like to copy names sometimes, so I think that an, an, an already name in a different part may be used for this. You never know, they could go original like they did with Max Force, like they did with West Coast Races at Magic Mountain, that's opening next year, apparently testing set to start soon, so uh, it's good to see the pitch that I saw recently with the trains on the track, but uh, I think whatever they do, I think there's a possibility that 2021 will be a big year for St. Louis, however, I could be wrong, and that, my friends, is because you look at over Georgia, they were they closed Splash Waterfalls, we all thought free spin, or, or a new coaster on the Splash Waterfalls site, and then we got Catwoman Whip, which is the Zampilla Endeavour, and the Poison Ivy Toxic Twister, which is the uh, Sizzler type ride uh, for next year, and that's part of the Gotham City expansion. So. 
it may not be for 2021. You know, you've got to look at over Georgia as a prime example of why it might not be. So there's reason to be cautious, but there's reason to be excited. So I think 656 Lewis is one of the parts we're going to be covering in 2020 uh, for uh, teasing and construction for 2021 in case something big does happen on that site uh, throughout the season. Um, obviously Magic Mountain with the rumours about Tidal Way being brought down and Green Lantern First Flight being brought down in January uh, and those sites combined for a coaster for 2021 so that's another part we're going to be keeping our eyes on um, obviously we've got other projects to keep our eyes on for 2021 as well so 2021 is going to be a big year again like, 20, like, th like next year 2020 is going to be a big year for coasters 2021 that's going to be a big year for coasters as well uh, loads of coasters going off in Europe the States literally anywhere uh, so thank you very much for watching this news update. Make sure you share your thoughts in the comments down below. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Child. Keep it with the Coast Alive. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care. Have an awesome day, my friends.